So this is going to be a quick update video, and that's because WeCreate dropped three pieces of news overnight, and in this video I'm going to talk about one of them in detail. I'll mention the other two, but I'll cover those in a future video. So if you want to find out what WeCreate's up to, then you're going to want to stick around. Hey, it's Steve, and welcome back. As I mentioned, this is an all news video. So WeCreate has been very busy. They first created the WeCreate Vision, which is a very popular laser, and I know quite a few people who view this channel own them, but they've now created a, a nice set of accessories and I'll, I'll talk about three of them here. One of them is actually a scoop, so uh, hopefully I don't get, get in trouble from WeCreate, but we'll talk about these in, in kind of order of excitement. And the first one is the conveyor. They now have a conveyor that's available in two different configurations. There's 126.9 inch by, by 14.9, which is the width of the laser, and that one is 399. And there's also a, a more, uh, we'll say a cheaper version of it. It's a 48 inch by 14.9 and that one's just 299. So really nice add. Now what this actually does is it sits underneath your laser and it can double as a riser, but more importantly, it provides all the rails and rollers to actually take a long piece of material and roll it in and out of the laser uh, so you can cut very long things. And that's pretty sweet. Now there is one more claim here that I, I hope isn't dubious, but if you look on their website at the at the conveyor option, there's a line item there that says this is compatible with 99% of open frame laser engravers. So this is entirely possible that it's available and you can use it on the laser you own today. And that's kind of cool. Now, I, as far as I know, WeCreate is actually gonna send me one of these. I don't think they have any stock yet. So, uh, when I get one, I will certainly create a review video on it and I will try an, another open frame laser to see if it actually works. I don't even know how they would control the software for that though. Anyway, let's move on. So new laser, new laser, new laser, just a heads up. And this is completely unconfirmed at this point because as far as I know, it hasn't been announced. WeCreate is working on a two watt IR laser module that you can drop into the WeCreate Vision and be able to engrave metals and, and all the other things you can do with an IR module. So keep that in mind. I don't have a lot of detail yet, although apparently uh, one of these is on its way to me. So I'll do a full review uh, coming up fairly soon, actually probably in the next couple of weeks. And uh, I'll let you know how it works and I'll certainly show you uh, what it can do. So just keep that one under your hat and hopefully I don't get in too much trouble with WeCreate on this one because uh, again, as far as I know, it hasn't been announced yet. The last thing I wanna talk about is actually announced. It's out there, you can get it today if you have a WeCreate Vision and that's Lightburn support. And I'll show you uh, how to get it up and running here. We'll do a quick sample. I'll talk a bit about what it still can't do but they are actively working on things, so cross your fingers that this will be the platform of choice for a WeCreate Vision if you own one of these lasers. Now, at some point in the near future, if it hasn't happened already, you're gonna see this sign pop up and you can click the upgrade here to do an upgrade to the new firmware and that's the thing that will give you light burn support. And it's really just a case of watching things happen. You don't really have to do anything other than click the OK and it, there's a f kind of a four-step process here so th this firmware update will take probably five minutes it's not too bad though now at this point you're pretty much ready to go you you do have to install a driver though so it's a case of plugging a usb cable into your computer and your laser if you haven't already done that and then go get the the driver for the we create vision in, for light burn and i'll put a link down below where you can get that then you just run the standard device selection bits so you select the file that that you downloaded and import it and at this point once you click ok the laser is pretty much installed and you can just click ok and go back out to the main the main screens for light burn and if you look at the console you'll see the version of the firmware that you have and at this point you're pretty much ready to use light burn on your week eight vision so with that out of the way i just created a simple little project here with a fill and a couple of shapes and some text and then i can do a focus there's a focus macro there that you can use and it does the usual focus that you would get with any we create job and then i just uh, did a framing and this is something you can't do actually with make it create so this is an interesting thing and you can frame out the piece of work that you're doing and then i just started the job and uh, let it go and you can see in the speed it up version here that uh, it does the engraving 
pretty much as you would ex expect if you've ever used Lightburn. It works, it works fabulously and you can see the output here. The project looks really good and does a usual perfect job that a WeCreate can do. The last thing I wanted to do was set up the rotary and it's just a case of going into the, the, the tools menu here and click on the, the check because that's what we're using turn it on and then I'm setting the diameter here for the piece of work that I'm using which is just a cardboard tube go create some settings for that and uh, you can see the little job I created is just a piece of text and off we go with the laser engraving and uh, pretty drama free actually I was shocked that it worked as easily as it did and you can see the output uh, turned out okay all in all, adding Lightburn support was a great addition to what is already a fantastic platform with the WeCreate vision. You still get to use WeCreate Make It. Uh, in fact, you're going to need it to do firmware updates, so it doesn't go away, but uh, the Lightburn integration here is completely seamless, including uh, autofocus, which is honestly something that Xtool has struggled to do properly with their lasers in Lightburn. So uh, kudos to the WeCreate team for making all of this happen. Now, what's the downside here? Well, there's two things really to call out. First of all, once you're running in Lightburn, you lose access to the WeCreate camera, which is honestly one of their best features. Uh, now they are actively working on this driver still, so hopefully they figure out some magical way to make their camera uh, so get supported properly in Lightburn. Uh, the other thing you lose is the WeCreate Make It library. So if you've been pulling designs down off of WeCreate, uh, you don't get to do that with the Lightburn integration and that might be a problem for people who maybe don't have a design uh, affinity or, or you know, they, they just want to pull designs and cut them out. Uh, no go with the Lightburn integration. All in all though, I think they did just an awesome job here and uh, if you want to find out more about what WeCreate's up to and what the WeCreate vision's all about, then the next video you're going to want to watch is the one up in the corner here and I'll wind down and I'll say get out there, make your world and I'll see you next time.